Kickoff time, 5 p.m. sharp. Molotovs, tear gas. It's an asymmetric war. The protesters lay traps. Fishing line tied low across streets for Robocops to trip on. Sprinkled soya beans and marbles and soap suds for Robocops to slip on. The swirling CS gas stings your skin. But these are hardened street warriors now. They've all got masks and they run rings around the police. Police deployed their new water cannon for the first time tonight in Chunwan, on Hong Kong's Kowloon Peninsula. Triad territory, it said. The gangsters accused of doing Beijing's dirty work. On Yung Uk Road, teenaged protesters had barricaded themselves inside City Walk shopping centre. They taunted the riot police, some using lasers. The police stood there, watching, deciding in the end just to ignore them. Many of those in here looked like school kids. As the Hong Kong night dropped like a curtain, the special tactical squad suddenly charged, sending hard-hatted black shirts galloping up Yung Ok Road, pounded by tankers. Stragglers were pinned down and arrested. A social worker there to support young detainees was pushed back by police and refused access. One of those arrested tonight was a 12-year-old boy. Hong Kong Police Superintendent Justin Shave was among ground commanders tonight. He's a Brit, who he also filmed directing ops elsewhere in Kowloon last night. Superintendent, can I just ask you what's actually happening here and what are you going to do about the situation tonight? Oh, we're doing a clearance, as you can see. So you're clearing out street by street, and then? After that, you best contact the Police Public Relations Bureau and... Commander Shave has been under fire here for his tactics, including the frequent use of tear gas and baton rounds. You've been accused by the protesters, sir, of acting for the government of Beijing. I think you've mistaken me for somebody else. I don't think so, sir. Excuse me. I yes. Think enough. Okay. Thank you very much. OK, Thank sorry. At the top of Yung Uk, a phalanx of riot police now held the junction. At this point, Justin Shave joined his British colleague, senior superintendent David Jordan, both men central to these police operations. So these standoffs have now become part of a regular pattern every day, every weekend. And interestingly, more than seven out of ten Hong Kongers now blame the pro-Beijing Hong Kong government for this chaos. Fewer and fewer of them see the protesters as being responsible for excessive violence. The government is seen to be increasingly remote and arrogant, and pro-democracy sentiment here is hardening. There were chaotic wildcat protests in at least four other locations in Kowloon tonight. A shot was fired. Police have not confirmed whether it was a live round. At the time, protesters were savagely beating ordinary police in Sham Shui Po district. The policemen came back pointing pistols, kicking a man who'd been pleading with them to back down. There's absolutely no doubt this is all escalating. In another clash, several policemen were injured tonight. With less than six weeks to go before the big 70th anniversary celebrations for China's Communist Party, Beijing does not want trouble it will probably avoid the hard-line option here, for now.